Imagine, if you will, a single molecule that could address the root cause of all age-related disease. And if that molecule exists, would you want to be part of its commercialization and help to change the world? And so the, the reason I'm here is that opportunity exists today. My name is Dr. Nathan Bryan. I've been in academic medicine for the past 25 years, have a number of patents with press, professor of medicine at UT Medical School in Houston. Um, we've sold over a billion dollars in, in product through my portfolio of companies over the past 15 years. And the, the revenue from my uh, patents from UT account for about 33% of their annual revenue. So we've been very successful out of 81 portfolio companies. So Bryan Therapeutics is a Texas-based C-Corp. We're cash flow positive, no debt, revenue generating. Um, my drug company acquired my consumer products goods uh, company uh, several <clears throat> months ago. Strong margins, 70, 80% growth margins. Um, I've got a history of growing successful businesses. As I mentioned, over $1 billion in global revenue uh, from these companies. So we've got a private placement memorandum for a $20 million raise. Uh, the use of funds, we've got three drugs going into advanced clinical trials to finish our registration batch for the drug through Pathion's about a million. Complete our ischemic heart disease drug, which is in phase three, is about a $4 million price tag. Uh, we've got UT milestone payments as we enter certain stages of these clinical trials. And then we've got drugs going into Alzheimer's and topical drugs for diabetic ulcers. But we're going to focus on first getting the ischemic heart disease drug approved. Uh, we've assembled a very strong team. Um, the founder, chairman, and CEO, Susan Schaefer, has built my other companies uh, from ground up to several hundred million in revenue to date. Uh, David Perlmutter is leading, leading our Alzheimer's and neurodegenerative program, and uh, Susan Treadgold holds up my, uh, heads up my investor relations. But we've got a strong team of clinicians. Uh, John Somberg has performed about 45 clinical studies for the FDA and gotten 40 drugs approved. So nitric oxide is a, is a, it's a gas that's produced in the lining of the body, and a Nobel Prize was awarded in 1998 to these three U.S. scientists for its discoveries of, a, of nitric oxide as a signaling molecule in the cardiovascular system. And I've studied and, and worked under uh, Fred Murad, who recruited me to join the faculty of UT Medical School in Houston uh, back in 2005. But although we're in biotech, we're really in the longevity space, and this is an emerging field. And once we figured out how to capture the, the biological activity of a fleeting gas in an end product, uh, really we're leading the forefront of this longevity field. So we're very focused in our clinical indications, but if you look at every single chronic disease, whether it's autoimmune disease, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, there's hallmarks, there's common denominators. There's ischemia and hypoxia, which means there's insufficient blood supply to that organ or tissue. There's inflammation, immune dysfunction, and oxidative stress. And nitric oxide corrects all four. In fact, many of my patents are on method of reducing inflammation. The older we get, the less nitric oxide we make, and then we call this endothelial dysfunction. So when the endothelium loses the ability to produce nitric oxide, there's compromised blood flow. You lose the regulation of blood flow to these organs. And if you lose the ability to make nitric oxide, these are the clinical presentations. You develop high blood pressure. You develop insulin resistance. Uh, basically, all the, the, the global phenotypes of Alzheimer's disease, advanced vascular disease, diabetes. And this is a short list of clinical symptoms. And the functional loss of nitric oxide in the vasculature precedes the structural changes we see in advanced coronary disease by many years, sometimes decades. So if you can maintain normal nitric oxide production, you can prevent the onset and progression of vascular disease. We've even got data showing we can regress plaque. So patients with stable plaque, in six months we can regress this plaque by about 11%. This is some in vitro or in vivo, ex vivo studies. So you can see here we can induce vascular inflammation in a vascular bed. You see the monocytes and neutrophils, an upregulation of the adhesion molecules. Obviously this is a heightened state of vascular inflammation. If we induce that same vascular inflammation, but we give our nitric oxide, you can see that same vascular bed is more dilated. The monocytes and neutrophils home along the endothelium, but they don't stick and they don't migrate. So you completely suppress the microvascular inflammatory response simply by restoring the production of nitric oxide. Cardiovascular disease, as most of you know, it's still the number one killer of men and women worldwide. For me, that's unacceptable. We know what causes cardiovascular disease, we know how to diagnose it, and we know how to treat it. So it's not a lack of information, it's the translation of that new science into clinical practice. So the amount of people dying from cardiovascular disease is equivalent to four jets crashing and killing everyone on board every hour, every day, every year. That should be the headlines. We're going after a very small segment of cardiovascular disease, what we call ischemic heart disease. 
It's a growing market. Uh, it's not getting better. The cornerstone therapy for ischemic heart disease are organic nitrates, such as isozorbide or nitroglycerin. We know that long-term outcome studies on people taking organic nitrates, patients get worse. You develop tachyphylaxis, so you gotta wean patients off of these drugs. Um, and so there has to be a better way. So we developed an orally disintegrating tablet. We made a solid dose form of nitric oxide gas. It's never been done before. Uh, if your body can't make nitric oxide, then we do it for you. Through this oral delivery, buccal delivery, it's vasoactive. We can see dilation of the carotids within about uh, 12 seconds. We see dilation of the coronary arteries. Um, it's very cost effective and it's vasoactive. There's no tolerance formation and we can see dilation of the, of the coronary arteries within a couple of uh, seconds of placing the lozenge in your mouth. Uh, the Pro Pharma we've built out, the, the ischemic heart disease market is, is very well defined. There's 33 million Americans living with it today, 250 million around the world. If we do a very poor job of marketing and we capture 2% of the market, we'll have about 25 million in earnings. If we capture 20% of the market the first year, we'll do about a quarter of a billion. And if we capture 50% of the market in the first year, we'll have earnings of about 1.7 billion. And this will be a very easy adoption because all cardiologists are looking for alternatives to isozorbide for treating their angina patients. Uh, we had a drug in phase three clinical trials for COVID. We were making COVID patients better, but obviously the goalposts kept moving with COVID. Uh, so we aborted the, the, the study, but we established safety. We treated over 600 really sick, highly susceptible patients with no safety signal. So now the FDA has allowed us to go straight into phase three trials with our oral drug. And so most of you know that saves us probably four to six years and anywhere from 20 to 70 million in development cost. We've had pre-IND meetings with the FDA. The FDA has indicated that if we can demonstrate in 100 patients in a 30-day study that we can prolong exercise-induced angina with no tolerance formation, then they'll approve the drug in a single study. So the 100, 100 patients, a 30-day study is the $4 million. Um, and then obviously once we get that drug approved and on the market, then we'll have sufficient revenue to fund all the other programs. I developed a, a commercial, a, a direct-to-consumer line of products that's now fueling, that's a part of our, our revenue. Uh, we, we developed an, an OTC form of our orally disintegrating tablet. We make a fermented beet powder for performance and energy pre-workout. And then I developed a topical line of products for skincare that generates nitric oxide, eliminates fine lines and wrinkles. This is based on our, our last quarter exit out of 2023. This is our five-year revenue projections. We'll do between 20 and 30 million. Uh, this year, we're growing 40 to 50% every 30 days um, on this. So we're cash flow positive, um, 80 to 84% gross margins. We've got an oral drug for Alzheimer's. Uh, we get to the root cause of Alzheimer's, reduce blood flow, insulin resistance. Uh, we improve glucose uptake and insulin signaling and basically improve cerebral blood flow. We can demonstrate this through spec scans and functional MRIs. And then we've got a topical uh, drug for, for diabetic ulcers, non-healing wounds. These are multi-billion dollar total addressable markets. We've achieved key milestones. We've got commercial drug manufactured. We've got two-year safety or two-year stability data. Uh, we completed our COVID study in August of 2022, developed safe, uh, safety. We have full regulatory guidance from the FDA. So our strategic plan is to focus on our ischemic heart disease drug, get that approved on the market, and then use the revenue from that. We're a very lean machine, uh, and then move our other drugs into advanced clinical trials. Our strategy has kind of changed. You know, our, our strategy now is to build a global company uh, because we really light years ahead of the competition and position the company for an IPO in, in fourth quarter of this year, hopefully third quarter. Uh, so thank you very much. There's my contact information. I'll be around for the rest of the afternoon. So if you have any questions, feel free to approach me. Thank you.